Peace, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. And a lot of people I'm proud of. I'm proud of a lot of people. Congratulations to a lot of people on your graduations. A lot of people had graduations. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, I love education. I love to see graduations. You know, that's a beautiful thing, you know. And, um, I was looking at, uh, the TikTok, and TikTok has a lot of different, uh, information. It has a, it has a lot of different things going on in TikTok. I like TikTok, but I don't know if they're going to, uh, ban TikTok, or they're gonna dismantle TikTok, or or they're gonna ban TikTok from America. I don't know if they are or not, but I think they shouldn't because I just start going on TikTok and it talks a lot about spirituality. They talk about the chakras and they talk about different types of books and they talk about uh, fashion, spirituality, technology. I see a lot of technology things on the, on that platform. I met um, over uh, about I met over five hundred people just you know going on TikTok, you know, and they added me as a friend. And, you know, I I hardly made any videos on TikTok. I only made like uh, about four or five videos uh, on TikTok and I have a, I have so many friends on TikTok. Some of the people on the TikTok they re, they review movies. Some people on TikTok are just, you know, having fun on it, dancing, you know, like the young teenagers. They dance on TikTok. They think TikTok is about dancing. It's not really about dancing and entertainment and stuff. They have cartoons on TikTok. It has even I I seen some odd things on TikTok. Like it was a woman. She was on TikTok and she kept on moving around and talking like a robot in a machine. I knew it was a, I knew she wasn't a robot, but she was walking and moving around like a robot and talking like a robot. And people were sending her gifts. And they were sending her money. They would cash, cash app in her and stuff. Like, I never seen nothing like that, you know. And this is men and women. They're like sending this woman, like, gift cards and they're sending her gifts and sending her money. I never seen nothing like that, you know. And um, I see music on there, people that are producers. They make beats on TikTok. The beats sound good. You know, I like TikTok. There's comedians that go on TikTok. There's some people that uh, they have short, they have, they make short little uh, videos on TikTok. Some of them be funny. Some of them be thought, thought provoking. They make you want to think. Some be educated. Like they, they be talking about education. Some be talking about, you know, uh, propaganda, you know, or they be talking about news. Some be talking about politics, stuff like that. You know, I like it, but, you know, the majority of uh, uh, my friends that are on, they're on TikTok, you know. Even when I go on Facebook, I have some of my associates and friends, they they go from Facebook to TikTok. A lot of them is on TikTok. A lot of the face my Facebook Facebook friends, they are all on TikTok. You know, and that's that's incredible. And they are they're incredibly talented. They 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 can sing or they can dance or they can rap or they can write or they do fashion or they doing stuff of you know, of doing stuff with makeup putting makeup on, showing people how to put makeup on, or, you know, 
It's all kinds of stuff on there. It's even people praying for people. You know, they make prayers. Man. That's, that's a beautiful thing. There's DJs on there. You know, I remember seeing DJ Jazzy Jeff uh, on the internet, but I think it was on Facebook. And it was DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. This is not too long ago, probably, I think, two or three years ago. But uh, Fresh Prince still got it. He's still rapping. He's rapping. His rapping is strong, sounds good. His son is a good rapper as well. His daughter is amazing singer. I just was listening to some of I was listening to some of her album, her new album. She's amazing. And she looks beautiful with that um the afro she has. You know, she has some beautiful eyes, you know, it's a beautiful uh, woman. And she really can sing pretty good. She sounds like an instrument. She plays a guitar and an electric guitar. It sounds really good. She sounds like a opera singer, but then yet she sounds like a rock and roll singer. You know, her music is real soothing too. You know, she has a great band too. Her band is awesome. You know, but right now, you know, I'm chilling. I'm gonna. There's a lot of things I want to do on this platform. You know. I want to do music, I want to do story time, I want to do uh, poetry slam, you know, I just want to talk about poetry, and things like that. I like to talk about video games, there's so many different video games that's out. Some of these video games are not for little kids, you know. I'm going to be talking about some video games that I have played recently. Um, I want to talk about some movies that I've seen, some cartoons that I've seen. Um, There's a lot of things that I want to do, you know. And I I just so happen to be blessed with that creative talent. Music that I want to do. It's books that I want to write. I want to dance more, you know. It's healthy to dance. Some people don't think that you should dance. But dancing is very healthy to dance. And I want to talk about pop culture. Television. I want to talk about even comedy. I want to talk about, and I'm not really a comedian, but I love to talk about comedy. You know, because uh, the stand-up comic, you know, they can see life, you know, on a way where a normal regular person can't see it. They can see something, and they can just make make a joke out of it. You know. Whether it's something sad or whether it's something that's happy, whether it's something good, whether it's something that's not so good, whether it's a tragedy, whether it's a victory, whatever it is, they know how to make it uh, into a joke and it, it makes people laugh and they laugh, you know. That's a gift to make people laugh, you know. Some people don't know how to make a a person mad, you know. That's being that's that's talent, you know. And uh, I just was looking at the social media and. There's so much stuff that's happening in Hollywood. And there's so much stuff that's happening in the record company. And so much things is going on in this world. So we have to stay prayed up. We got to continue to pray for ourselves and pray for others. But when you pray for someone, and even if you pray for yourself, make sure that you're 
your thoughts and your heart is pure. Make sure your intentions is pure. Don't just make the dua or make make that prayer, that supplication. Be uh, just for yourself. Make the dua, the, the supplication, the prayer. Make it for your whole entire tribe. Make it for everyone in this world. Make it for make it for everyone that's in Africa. Everyone that's an African American. Some African Americans don't even want to be called an African American. So Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you and myself, try your best to not to get angry. Because once you're angry, you're not in your right frame of thought. Don't do anything when you're angry because you may make a mistake. And also, don't do anything when you are real, real happy. Because sometimes you can be so happy that you're blind. And sometimes you can be so angry and sad that you're blind. So somebody walk up to you while you real angry and they may talk to you and you know, they may persuade you to do something that is incorrect, that's wrong. Whether you whether it's good or bad, so we have to think before we speak, we have to be patient with ourselves. a lot on my mind, you know. And a lot of kingdoms and a lot of empires and a lot of organizations and a lot of men, uh, they lost a lot of things because of they wasn't able to control their sexuality or they or their sexual appetite. That's why a lot of men is having problems, you know. But sometimes people actually, sometimes people actually lie on a man to make the man look bad. But some of these men, all they're just having sex with uh, underage women, under underage teenagers, and stuff like that, and you know, and even blackmailing people, you know, have them, you know, uh, do things to them. We were humiliating, and then they got them on film, or they got a, they took a picture of them. So they they use that as blackmail. You know, they blackmail that person and tell that person, do everything I tell you to do and say, and if you don't do what I tell you to do and say, then I'm going to expose you on the stuff that you like and the stuff that you have done. You wasn't supposed to be doing that. Was that was wrong of you to be doing that? So people, um, they do that to people. Why they do that? I don't even know. But some say they do that because they want to have power over somebody. You know, just like even even rape. Rape is not even about sex. It's not sexual. It is about a man. That wants to take something from a woman and humiliate a woman and he want to dominate her. That's what it's about. Also, the door swings both ways. It's women. Yeah, it's women that rape men. There was a man, he was walking down the street. He was in Chicago, right? He minding his business walking down the street, but it's real, real, real late at night, right? So, a car drives up. And an arm pull comes out of the car out of the, the car window. And that was a woman's arm, 
but she was holding a gun, a firearm. I don't know what kind of gun it was, so you know, but she was holding a firearm, right? So he was like, um, look, look, whatever y'all had, whatever y'all want, y'all can have. I got money. He had money. I got money. Look, y'all can have my smartphone. He had smartphone. Y'all can have my wallet. Look, y'all can have whatever. They was like, we don't want none of that. He was like, if y'all don't want my money, I got jewelry. Look, y'all can have it. Y'all can have my smartphone. Y'all can have my jewelry. Look, y'all want my sneakers? They was like, no, we don't want none of that. None of the above. We want you. He was like, excuse me? He said, we want you. So get in the car. So they went, you know, had him in the car. And then they tied him up. And then they drove to a a location where it's not even that much people, it ain't even that much cars. He's somewhere, they're somewhere far away. And what occurred was those women was beating on that man. And they was raping him. Those women was they had put the gun to his face. He told them it was raping. Both of them was rape, taking turns raping. And they were telling him, you know you like this and that. And he was like, and he was upset. And he hated it. He, wanted, he, wanted, he didn't know when it's going to stop. They kept on going. They like raped him all night long. And then after they was done with him, they, they, threw, they threw him out of the car. And and they, they drove off and was laughing. So women and men they do these things. They they they're not fair with one another sometimes on certain points. Some people are selfish, but it's other it's other people that's not selfish. There's other people that they love people, you know? It's good people out there. It's people that pay it forward. It's people that give people money and help people. It's people that protect people. It's people that, if they see somebody hungry, they feed them. They feed people. See somebody half naked, they clothe them. You know? There is good people out there, you know, but, you know, you gotta look around. You'll find somebody that's good out there. And um, I'm gonna tell. I'm I'm gonna talk about a story right here. So it's two men talking to one another, right? And the other man said to the other guy, he said, "Look, man, I gotta ask you a question. How come your physique looks so amazing, dude? Like?" I'm not no homo. I'm no, I'm not trying to flirt with you or nothing. But look, why are you so healthy looking, man, and so strong looking? You got muscles and stuff, and you healthy looking. So the guy replied that had the muscles and said, "Sometimes me and my wife we get in bad arguments. Our arguments be so bad that." I want to walk out the door. I might walk out the front door, but the argument be so bad, I tell my wife, look, hold that thought, and I leave. I go into my workout room. I got a workout room. I work out. As soon as my wife starts talking crazy, you know, talking sideways and trying to be disrespectful to me, I leave. And I exercise. I do 100 push-ups, I do 100 sit-ups, I do 100 jumping jacks, then I get me the punching bag, and I just start kicking the punching bag, bow, 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 and then I start punching the punching bag, pow, 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 I'll be hitting them, look, I'll be hitting them, so he's like, that's what you be doing? 
And then we all talk about, yeah, yeah, I be doing it. I be exercising. Every time I'm in a bad mood, every time my wife stress me, every time something gets me upset, I exercise. Then I also, I meditate. I sit down and I meditate. And, and when I meditate, I meditate and think about a positive vision board. You know, a positive, righteous vision board of how I want the society, the society to be. I want it to be a better society. I want the, the people to be better and more respectful towards one another. So like um so many things to be thankful for, you know. I'm thankful for all of the the, the things that I have and some people they say just they say just say I am enough. That's what some people's affirmation is. They say I am enough. And that's a powerful statement that you are enough. That means that you are just thankful for what you have. You're thankful for this moment. You're in the moment and you're thankful for what you have. That's a beautiful thing. And, um, Ladies and gentlemen, teenagers, millennials, Generation X people, I am a composer. I make music. Sometimes I make music in front of a live audience. Sometimes I make music inside a room. You know? I was just, I just was daydreaming. That's why I stopped talking. Sorry about that. I actually was staring in the space. I was daydreaming. But um, back to retrospect, you know, um, there's a lot of uh, rappers and entertainers that I like and a lot of stand-up comedians because, like, the standard comedian, they, they be talking about, you know, reaching events and they be talking about things that other people may be shy to talk about or something that they are afraid of, you know, afraid to talk about. And I was just reading. Um, I was reading different types of books, and it was this comic book I was reading, and it was a pretty good comic book. The comic book was basically like um, I think it was Loki. Some type of magician, magician, somebody that has powers. They was angry with Wolverine and angry with Spider Man, you know. And 
they did like a Freaky Friday to them, like they switched them, you know, switch they switched Wolverine is in Peter Parker's body and Logan is in Spider Man's body, but the the Spider Man that is the amazing Spider Man, the one that is in high school. And then Wolverine is is the Wolverine that we know like right at the Weapon X type of Wolverine. Yeah, he's like he's a warrior, army man, warrior. He would kill and fight and them claws come out, you know. So they would switch. And Logan had to go to Peter Parker's school. So he went to his school. And while he was in school, he was like, he didn't like being in school. He didn't like going back to, back to high school. He hated it. And there was a bully that was there. The bully ran up. And try to punch him and fight him. So Peter Parker with root with Wolverine mind in him, he flipped that he flipped that uh bully and he went he he squeezed his hands to try to make them knives come out, but it didn't knives didn't come out. But he just punched the, the he punched that bully. And meanwhile, Wolverine, well, the uh, Peter Parker, mine is in Wolverine, and his Wolverine body is walking around. But little did they know that Sabretooth was coming. That's Wolverine's brother. They like to fight Wolverine. So he said, yo, hey, Wolverine. Hey. So then the Spider Man or Peter Parker's mind is inside Wolverine's body. So Spider Man, he did his flip and he jumped right up, he jumped right near the wall and tried to grip onto the wall, but he couldn't grip the wall. He slid, slid down and fell down. Cause he couldn't do it, and then he tried to make his web shoot at at Sabretooth. He tried to, but it didn't work. Sabretooth tackled him, and Sabretooth's claws was trying to scratch and kill him. And then Sabretooth was trying to bite him too. So Sabretooth was running like an animal, like a like a like a dog or some type of a, a leopard or like some type of jackal. He was running at him then. He jumped and punched at him and grabbed him and body slammed him. And, and he didn't know how to make the knives come out, the Wolverine knives come out. So, so basically, basically, Sabretooth was killing, almost killing Wolverine. The wall, Peter Parker, that looks like Wolverine. So back to back to resident back to meanwhile back to Peter Parker and he's talking to the high school students and they playing music and he sounds pretty good so So back to retrospect. <laughs> then they both were together, Spider Man and Wolverine. So they both fought Sabretooth and they defeated Sabretooth. So they had to ask. Doctor Strange to help them. And
So, um, actually, you know, a lot of stuff is happening, you know, on the news and stuff. I'm just looking at, I was, I'm looking at my smartphone and a lot of incredible things is happening. Like, ASAP Rocky is married to Rihanna and a lot of people are amazed by them because both of them are uh, rappers and entertainers and models. They model in, they model in clothing, clothing line. They model in uh, colognes and perfumes and things like that. That's amazing, you know. I, I love it. It's black love, you know. It's a beautiful thing, you know. And, um, There's a lot of different casinos that, that, that settle too. Um, one of the best uh, casinos is um, let me see. One of the best casinos is the MGM Casino in Las Las Vegas. I like. I love that one. The wind, that's a nice one in Las Vegas. They got some nice stuff, you know. Hold on, bear with me. I'm about to check and see if So I'm just right now, I'm just checking to see if my Wi-Fi is working. If my Wi-Fi was moving kind of slow. Hey, people be right. A lot of wild stuff for the Wi-Fi uh, address. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going on YouTube. Uh, and... Oh, that was, uh, that, that was the president. That was the president of um, Israel. He was saying that it was women, Israeli women that are uh, raped and kidnapped, you know. So, like, even though, uh, see, that's what they be saying, casualties of war, you know. But then people are also saying that it's Palestinians that's arrested and put behind bars and humiliated and disrespected, you know? So, like, it's going back and forth, like, wow, man. So I was just looking at, um, they're talking about Roe versus Wade and reproductive rights. Like women want to have the right, you know, to have an abortion, you know. Um, some people don't like abortion. Some people see abortion as killing the baby. But, you know, some of them, they're saying that it's not an abortion if it's before the baby gets 
ears and an eyes and a nose and has reproductive organs. You know, there's a certain time where the baby is not even formulated, you know, as, as a humanoid, it's not formulated as a person. It don't look like a person, it's just, you know, it looks like something that is not yet a person. But it's women that they have abortions because they might have an abortion because of their career, uh, because they mother and father may tell them they're not ready to have any children yet. They're not mature enough to have children and babies and kids. You know, some women, they only have children from one man. And that may sound like it's difficult, it might sound like it's hard, but some women, they have abortions and they make sure that their child um, doesn't look like someone that they may have had an affair with. They might be married to their husband. They may have a husband. They might have a husband, you know? And they may not want their husband to know that they cheated on their husband. Because if they... They, they, the baby might come out a different color. She might have had a baby from a white man. Or she might have had a baby from a man that was extremely dark skinned. You know, extremely black. Very, very black. Dark. Darkness black type of brother, you know. Or, or he's, he have a certain look. Where if you see him, you be like, okay, yeah, that's that's you know such so and so's baby, without no shadow of a doubt, you know. So some a lot of women have abortions. It be like business reasons, you know. The job may say they can't be present on the job. So right now, I'm I'm looking at uh, it's people dancing in the church. It's a bunch of people dancing in the church. This is on uh, I'm looking at YouTube. This is in Brooklyn. People dancing in the church. Yeah, 
Right now, I'm looking at um, people protesting, and um, the cops is grabbing and pushing them around. Police, they're trying to protest. The cop just pushed, pushed the, uh, pushed the young man. Another cop knocked a, a guy down. They're they pro palace pro Palestinian protesters. You know, there's so many people, but it also is uh, many Israelis that are looking together. Right? You know, the top, top threw the guy down. Right? Oh, they, they, they got their knee on his back. Man, it's not true. This happened two days ago. Crazy. Oh, they grabbing her like she a rag doll. And just, oh, I'm turning it. I can't. I can't look at it. Anymore. Not too. Ishmael and the 
So he was talking about uh, religion, and he was talking about uh, my, that's uh, the guy that said he's the son of Hamad. He, he, he's against Hamad, and he's against terrorism. Yeah, I'm listening to Birdman. Oh, it's Birdman. Talking. Looking at Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods is still, he's still playing um, ball. He's still playing ball. He's one of the greatest golf players in the world, though. Oh, this is Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan talk. Yeah, with Tracy Morgan. He was giving some knowledge. Oh, it's Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. Thank you. 
Oh, Quest Love was selling cool in the gang that they've been sampled. By different people. He sampled 1800 times. <laughs> 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 And now I'm looking at Terry. Because you're inviting that energy and vibration into your life. Five of the speaks and there's life and death and power in the tongue. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you think. Be consistent with talking. Because you're inviting that energy and vibration into your life. Five of the speaks and there's life and death and power in the tongue. And your Terry is the wise. He's the wise. He's saying it. Power and death in the tongue, and you gotta watch what he say. Same video came up. They did, they, they did other videos. It's Missy, Missy Hustle. 